Hi, and thank you for participating in this public involvement presentation for the Wisconsin 16 project between Watertown and Oconomowoc. All materials, including the handout with the comment form, are available on the design website for your review. My name is Corey Inman, and I am serving as the project manager for the consultant designing the project. And the WSDOT project manager is Michael Rampistrider from the Southwest region in Madison. The main purpose of this presentation is to provide project updates since the in-person public involvement meeting held July 13, 2022. We will go over the location of the project, provide project updates on the roundabout located at the intersection of East Main Street, Oak Hill Road, and Wisconsin 16, the Wisconsin 16 and Wisconsin 19 interchange, the median opening located just west of the Gopher Hill Road intersection on Wisconsin 16, and the other intersections of the corridor. We will finish up providing updates to the right-of-way needs and the project schedule. As you can see from the project map on the slide, the project is located on Wisconsin 16 in Jefferson County. The project is split between two different construction projects. The first construction project, the reconstruction of the intersection of Wisconsin 16 and East Main Street Oak Hill Road, starts just, up to, just west of the intersection on Wisconsin 16 and continues just east. The intersection reconstruction also includes East Main Street just west of the intersection and East Main Street Oak Hill Road and the frontage road on the east side of the intersection. The second project, is a pavement replacement project which picks up where the intersection construction leaves off and continues to Rock River Road just west of Oconomowoc. The project will include the Wisconsin's 19 entrance and exit ramps to the west ending at the intersection of Wisconsin 19 and East Gate Drive. The pavement replacement project will remove the existing pavement and base course. The pavement will be replaced with six inches of new asphalt on 26 inches of new base material on top of geogrid material. In addition to the pavement replacement, the guardrail along the corridor will be replaced. Repairs will be made to the structure over the Wisconsin 19 exit ramp. The deck of the structure over the Rock River will be replaced and the existing three foot paved shoulders will be widened from three feet to five feet. The reconstruction project will reconstruct the existing intersection of East Main Street, Oak Hill Road and Wisconsin 16 to a single lane roundabout. This slide depicts the preliminary design of the single lane roundabout presented at the public involvement meeting in July of 2022. Based on public input, our design team reconfigured the roundabout to direct the east leg of the roundabout to the frontage road and relocate the intersection of the frontage road and Oak Hill Drive to the east leg of the roundabout, which you will see on the next slide. As you can see on this slide, the east leg of the roundabout has been reconfigured to direct traffic onto the frontage road and Oak Hill Road has been reconfigured to a new intersection just to the north of the current alignment. Along with this configuration of the roundabout, a concrete truck apron was added to the northeast quadrant of the roundabout to accommodate trucks making a right turn from the frontage road onto westbound Wisconsin 16. The existing sidewalk on the frontage road will be extended along the frontage road leg of the roundabout to the southeast quadrant, where a crosswalk will be included across the south leg of the roundabout. The sidewalk will continue along the southwest quadrant of the roundabout to a crosswalk across East Main Street. The sidewalk will continue to, along the north side of East Main Street to the western limits of the project where the city of Watertown is planning a future sidewalk. At the Wisconsin 16 and Wisconsin 19 interchange, three different options were presented at the July public involvement meeting to address the very short existing two lane sections on Wisconsin 16 eastbound, Wisconsin 16 westbound, and the Wisconsin 19 eastbound ramp. Based on public input, option three, a reduction of the short two lane sections to one lane with 10 foot shoulders on both sides was selected. 
This slide shows an exhibit of option three. As you can see in the typical section on the bottom middle of the exhibit, the existing sections highlighted had two 12 foot lanes with 10 foot shoulders. The finished section on the bottom shows our selected typical section with one 12 foot lane, five foot paved shoulders and five foot gravel shoulders. The detailed views of the segments shown show how the permanent configuration will look after the project. At the public involvement meeting, an option was presented to eliminate the median opening highlighted on this slide. Based on public input after and at the public involvement meeting, the median opening will remain at the current location. Another issue brought up at the public involvement meeting was the lack of turn lanes along Wisconsin 16 throughout the two lane section of roadway. Based on a review of the traffic volumes along Wisconsin 16 and on the side roads, right turn lanes will be installed at all the intersections within the pavement replacement project. The picture you see shown on the slide depicts an example of a half section of what the new intersections will look like. Full length turn lanes measuring 300 feet in length are proposed at Gopher Hill Road and County SC and 200 foot full width turn lanes are proposed at the other intersections within the corridor as listed on the slide. As we mentioned at the public involvement meeting in July, some permanent right of way and some temporary easements will be required for the reconstruction of the East Main Street Oak Hill Drive Wisconsin 16 intersection to a single lane roundabout. WSDOT will acquire the real estate and real estate staff will meet with impacted property owners. Additionally, a landowner's rights brochure can be found on the project website. As mentioned previously, right-of-way will need to be purchased with this project. The permanent fee required is only in the northeast quadrant of the roundabout for the reconstruction of the intersection of Oak Hill Drive and the frontage road. 2,018 square feet or approximately 0 0.05 acres of permanent right-of-way or fee will be required. 4,321 square feet or approximately 0.1 acres of temporary easement will be needed for grading purposes. In the southwest quadrant of the roundabout, 6,853 square feet or approximately 0.14 acres of temporary easement will be needed for grading purposes. And in the northwest quadrant of the roundabout, 3,414 square feet or approximately 0.08 acres of temporary easement are needed. As mentioned at the July public involvement meeting, construction is anticipated in summer and fall of 2025. Construction will be performed under a road closure with posted detour. Provisions will be included in the contract stipulating the contractor has to maintain local and emergency access at all times. As mentioned on the previous slide, the work will be performed with a posted detour. The posted detour as depicted on this slide will follow along Wisconsin 26, I-94, and Wisconsin 67. The remaining project schedule is shown on this slide. The virtual public involvement period will remain open until March 10th. If you wish to provide any comments or have any questions, please provide these to project staff before the end of the comment period. Preliminary plans will be sent to utilities in February to start designing any necessary utility relocations. The right-of-way plot will be completed in February and the real estate negotiations will start this year. Final plans are due August 1st, 2024, and as mentioned previously, construction is currently scheduled for 2025. As mentioned before, the public comment period will close on March 10th, 2023. If you wish to express any comments, questions, or concerns, please provide them to project staff before then. There are multiple ways you can provide comments to project staff. Comment forms, as well as additional information, was sent to adjacent property owners and other interested parties via mail. These included a pre-addressed comment form, which can be filled out and placed in the mail. You may also download the fillable comment form from the project website and email or mail it back to project staff. Another way to provide comment is to send an email directly to Michael Rampenstrider at michael.rampenstrider at 
www.ghost.gov. Thank you for participating in the virtual public involvement.